Rain barrels connect to rain gutter downspouts and are a great way to collect and conserve stormwater runoff from your roof. The water can then be used to water your landscaping or garden during dry spells. Installing a rain barrel is a great project for do-it-yourselfers. It's not difficult, but does require some planning. In this video, we'll show you one method of installation. Note, if you're using a commercial downspout diverter, follow the manufacturer's installation instructions. Choose the downspout that you will connect your rain barrel to. Keep in mind the location of the plants you want to water and where you'll be directing any excess water using the barrel's overflow hose. Your barrel can be installed directly alongside the downspout or can be offset by using a flexible elbow with a short piece of downspout as an extension. At the location where you want to install the barrel, it's important to clear away the debris and level the ground. A 55 gallon rain barrel full of water weighs over 400 pounds and needs a stable base. Care must be taken so there is no danger of the rain barrel tipping over. Use a level to check your work. Prepare and level a patch of soil a minimum of 16 by 24 inches. A base layer of gravel or crushed stone can be used to help level the ground and protect the soil from erosion. Do not use sand as it can easily erode, creating an unstable base. You'll want the barrel to be up off the ground so you can easily fill a watering bucket or attach a hose. Elevating the barrel also uses gravity and the weight of the water itself to make the water flow out of the spigot. You can use a variety of materials to create your platform, but it must be strong enough to hold the weight of a full barrel. Concrete blocks are commonly used, although stacks of bricks or heavy lumber can also work. Here we're using three 8 by 8 by 16 inch concrete blocks for the base as shown. Platform materials can be purchased from your local hardware, garden, or building supply store. Check to make sure your platform is level. Now we need to mark and cut our downspout. Set your rain barrel on top of the completed base. Match your choice of rigid or flexible elbow alongside your downspout. You may need to add a short piece of downspout as an extension to reach the rain barrel inlet hole. We like the discharge end to be within a half inch of the top of the rain barrel to reduce splashing. Here we are demonstrating both types of elbows. Once the elbow is lined up where you want it, make a mark across the front of the downspout. Keep the mark as level as possible. Note that the elbow will slide up and over the downspout, so your mark must be 3 to 4 inches below the top edge of the elbow. If you use a flexible elbow, positioning along the downspout is the same. Now cut the downspout. Place a piece of cardboard behind the downspout while cutting to prevent damage to your house. Since downspout material is very thin and easy to cut, use a regular hacksaw. An extra pair of hands is helpful to hold the downspout while cutting. Caution: The cut edges can be very sharp. You can now either leave the lower portion of the downspout attached behind the barrel or store it to reattach in the winter. Once the downspout is cut, new downspout fasteners will need to be installed above and below the cut. Most downspouts have two fasteners holding them to the house, one at the top and one at the bottom. Leave both original fasteners attached. Two common types of fasteners are available for home use, clips or straps. Here is how you install the strap fastener. Screw the strap onto the siding. Place the downspout against the siding and wrap the strap around the downspout so both ends overlap.
drill through the center of the strap and use a half inch screw to join the strap and the downspout together. For our installation, we are using clips to secure the lower end of the downspout. Gently push the downspout to the side, drill a starter hole through the siding, then screw in the clip. The downspout clips into the fastener. Drill starter holes into each side of the clip and secure with half inch screws. Choose your elbow and slip over the top of the downspout. Here we are showing the rigid elbow and extension. Here is the flexible elbow without using an extension. Secure your elbow to the downspout. Drill starter holes and install two screws. If you use an extension, you will need to secure it to the elbow with two screws. Now your rain barrel is ready to start harvesting rainwater. Don't forget to attach your overflow hose. When it's time to disconnect the rain barrel from the downspout for the winter, we can reconnect the entire downspout back together. If you use a rigid elbow for your rain barrel installation, to winterize you'll want to replace it with a flexible elbow. Connect it using two half inch screws. Using its ability to expand, you'll join the top and bottom downspout sections together. Extend the flex elbow straight for several inches. Lay the lower downspout section alongside and mark the end of the extended elbow. Using the hacksaw, cut away the excess piece. Now install a downspout fastener to anchor the upper end of the lower portion of the downspout. Drill a starter hole through the siding and screw in the fastener. Attach the downspout using two half inch screws. Stretch the flex elbow so it extends into the lower downspout section and secure with two half inch screws. Now your downspout is ready for the winter.